Hey there guys, welcome to next time lapse here on the channel. Apologies for this not being posted on Friday. It's actually late Saturday when this is going up. I was pretty much sick for the entire day yesterday and I could barely get out of bed much less, you know, hobble on down to the workstation to work on a uh, time lapse video. So apologies for that, but I did want to get it posted up tonight. I'm going to be using the new Perry, um, Perry the Platypus tape, Phineas and Ferb duct tape that's come out fairly recently. I actually haven't done a video showing it on the channel yet, but that's going to be coming pretty soon, probably tomorrow, when I can show it to you in an actual video. We're going to be working on a Perry the Platypus time lapse. I thought in honor of the uh, Phineas and Ferb tape coming out, I could definitely work into working with a Perry the Platypus on the top of the duct tape here. It doesn't quite um, line up. It, kinda, it does, but it overlaps by a lot, so you kind of have to overlap with a half of the strip that you just applied if that makes any sense so if you if you buy you don't know exactly what I'm talking about but you can't really um, um, line it up correctly without uh, wasting probably about twice as much duct tape as you're applying down so it probably would have taken me about 10 strips of tape to um, to overlap it correctly when I only use you just usually just five for the uh, background for these paintings here so I didn't really want to use all five you know strips just to you know, or all 10 strips just to make it look like it was lined up. It, it works out pretty well because you can see pretty much all the characters on it when you stretch it out with just a single strip. And I applied it so you can kind of see all the characters. That doesn't overlap them too much, but it still kind of all flows together. Uh, my printer's giving me a lot of trouble, as always, so I kind of had to draw or freehand some of those lines on there. Going to be using some yellow duct tape for his bill and for his feet because um, I did actually use orange in a few... Um, uh, videos ago when I've made some other Perry things in the past, but I thought if I used orange you wouldn't be able to see it on the background So because um, it does have a very you know Orange background for the uh, Perry the platypus tape or the Phineas and Ferb tape I guess I should say so working on the uh, on those parts first is his feet and His bill I'm gonna use the cookie dough tape for his tail and this one's gonna actually give me this time-lapse is gonna give me an actual uh, another chance to use a little bit of uh, permanent marker to kind of allow the border lines to show and uh, that's I've only used that a few times in my time lapses but it, it really comes in handy when you're trying to have that small little black border line around whatever you're making I decided to use the, uh, the uh, kind of the reddish ruddy brown color for his fedora and I'll be cutting out his eyes next the major major color for this time lapse is definitely the aqua color which is a pretty close match for his body. It's not exactly the same, but it's definitely a lot closer than the um, electric blue tape. So definitely wanted to use the aqua color for that. So now cutting out some his irises for his eyes, and then I'll be sticking those on here. Always using the paper image to find out exactly where to stick it, of course. That's kind of a staple in mo most of my videos, if you haven't figured it out by now. And now I'm going to stick on the colors for his eyes there. And of course a little gleam so you can see that in there. Looks pretty great. Work on that black color around his band, like the wrap around his fedora. And then I'm going to cut that out and peel it up and stick it down on top. So right about there. And this should probably wrap it up for all of his actual things. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into normal speed here. And I'm going to kind of draw a little bit around his eyes. And kind of give this whole, you know, this whole picture. It's, uh, it's really great borderline to make it look a lot like the cartoon character of Perry. So this is where that permanent marker really comes in handy here. And there are some parts of the um, kind of the uh, image where you kind of have to freehand it. Like there's a, a it's not just the borderline of the actual object. You do have to kind of allow it to kind of bring out the entire image. You're going to see that in a few seconds here when I go around his bill. And there's a part where you kind of a, a break in the middle where it opens, of course, where his bill opens. So you're going to see that right about there. So that looks pretty good. Now, of course, the you know, easiest way to, if you mess up with something like this, the easiest way is to kind of just scratch it off. You have to wait for the uh, permanent marker to dry, and you can just kind of just take your fingernail and kind of scratch off the excess uh, marker. And that typically duct tape has a really glossy coating, so any permanent marker usually comes right up if you're trying to like just scratch it or rub it off. So, it really comes in handy there. It will stay like this if you are trying to use permanent markers in a lot of your creations. Uh, it will typically stay on for a decent amount of time. 
if, if you're taking it out of your, your pocket, like if you're using a wallet or something, if you have permanent marker on it, it'll probably rub off, but you probably want to seal it up with packaging tape, and then it'll stay inside the packaging tape forever, of course. It's not going to go anywhere. And it's kind of funny. After all this time, I've used a lot of uh, Perry the Platypus uh, creations on my channel. I've made a few time lapses, I think, for him in the past, at least one that I, that I remember. And I've never actually seen the show, which is something I probably should do at some point at least watch a few episodes so that I can say I, I can so that I can say that I've watched it but so working on his part of his tail here and it's always a little tricky working on this because you want to kind of have that border of the duct tape and there's of course there's that border there which is kind of easy to work with but then you also don't want to um, roll over onto the actual tape itself so you kind of have to use like a fine tip marker and kind of ride that edge of where the duct tape is that can be kind of difficult depending on how you know and how hard you're pressing down on the marker alright so that's looking pretty good now I gotta draw parts for his arms and there's one piece there and then there's kind of another outline for his arm there of course his other arm is behind him all right, so now I got to work on the kind of crisscross patterns. I, I kind of call them the waffle patterns on his tail. And then that should wrap up the time lapse. So we're rolling towards the end, about 30 seconds left. Looking pretty good. I'm just looking at the, I'm actually looking at the screen on my computer to kind of get an idea of where to, where to throw these lines in. So I'm not totally freehanding it, making it look as accurate as possible. Looks pretty good. And there we have it. So I hope you guys like the time lapse. Uh, oh, there you are, Perry. And of course, there he is. And that's the new Perry, uh, Phineas and Ferb duct tape, which you'll see on the channel pretty soon. So hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you pretty soon on the channel for more videos.